Hello YouTube. Welcome back to Bald Men Building an Airplane. Uh, in today's video, we will be prepping a bunch of parts for throwing them away. Well, I don't know about all of them, but um, quite a few of these are going to get thrown away. Why am I still making this video? I don't know. Um, probably because, as I said before, <sighs> it's just documentation of the process. Um, actually, a lot, I think we're going to be keeping some of these. The, 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 the baggage compartment ribs are probably getting kept. Um, I might put some doublers on the... Um, some doublers on the flanges, maybe, to uh, keep them from disconnecting, or, you know, to add some um, strength where the rivets go. We'll see. Uh, in any case, uh, this is just rib rib prep. So these are the seat ribs, the baggage ribs, etc. Um, we've seen this before. We've straightened the edges. We flute the ribs, etc., etc., etc. So yeah, that's what this is going to be. In the meantime, we're going to talk about actual current events since this happened quite a few months ago. I'm going through old footage because I just it's taken a while to get through it. Uh, my time to uh, record has been lacking. Yeah. Anyway, um, Vans. Uh, public statement that they're having problem with money well yeah uh, that sucks they've uh, put out a video about it and yeah it really just sucks um, they had a problem with their quick build kits with corrosion issue it sucked they didn't um, they got behind on parts because of that because they had to redo a bunch of stuff. They took a hit financially on that. And then when they had to catch up on parts, they opted to use this laser cutting process, which put them deeper in the hole. And yeah, the whole thing is just kind of a constant, like a, a, a downward spiral, I guess is really the best way to put it. Really sucks. Uh, I, I hope they come out of it okay. I think they can come out of it okay with a good plan. But man, um, when you really think about the, the quick build kits and the amount of risk and cost that the company incurs, like, uh, let's just say this. I bought my wing kit for like, I think it was something like $12,000. Quick build wing option to add on was like ten grand. Well, when you ship all the parts to somewhere else on the planet, and then get an entirely, an entire assembly shipped back. You know, think about that. I, I, even if you half the creating cost or quarter the creating cost of, you know, so it's like 250 bucks to ship it there, but then to ship it back, you're probably looking at, you know, $5,000. And I'm maybe not 5,000, but let's just say it's probably like two grand to ship back. So my, you know, you're looking at $8,000 profit maybe on the quick builds when you take out the shipping um then you look at the amount to um you got to pay the people to do that i'm sure they're not paying them that much but i mean is it really uh worth i don't know let's just say you pay three or four thousand dollars worth of uh labor to to make a quick build so now you're down to about four thousand dollars worth of profit on the wings yeah, is it worth them as much risk as they pose? Maybe. I don't know. I could see quick builds going away. Uh, I didn't choose to do any quick builds on this kit because I wanted to build it all myself. Um, but yeah, there's going to be some changes. You know, kit prices are probably going to go up. Um, thankfully, most of my kits are purchased, but still, I could see you know. An initial price and then you know a oh it's time to ship your kit here's the actual final price so however that works out I hope it does I think it will it's just gonna be a matter of time and uh, we gotta wait and see so oh, thanks for stopping by for this one not much going on in the actual building of this 
This is just parts prep. There will be more parts prep next time. Maybe some priming. I'm not positive, but uh, that'll be it for now, and uh, we'll see you next week. Thanks for stopping by.